You guys, we got, um, like, five days till Christmas, and I got six scenes to, uh, film, and I have got six scenes to do the audio to, and I have ten scenes, about ten scenes, to edit, and this week is Christmas, so, yippee yay that's what I'm gonna be doing this week. <laughs> Right now, I am in the middle of um, writing the script for episode 5 of The Grunder House. I finish the script before I start filming. But usually what I do is make two or three drafts of the script each scene before I actually put it in there. And I'll put it in like, then I'll put it into a script format and um, in my more normal notebook. Yeah, so. <laughs> film a scene of the Gardner House Christmas special and or my Christmas special called a Gardner House Christmas yeah it's kind of confusing but yeah um oh almost did a face reveal yeah cool <laughs> yeah cut and I'm and I'm filming this over a cliff which isn't really that obvious in the film there's a stream down there, and then we have a cave back there that you cannot see whatsoever. But oh well. <laughs> yeah, so I'll get back to it. So I filmed scene 3 in early November, right? Well, I filmed scene 2 in early December. Back to back, the landscape goes from this... To this. I only realized this fact during editing, but it was the night before I had to post it, so I decided that I'd just let it go. Writing dialogue is one of the most, um, one of the worst things I've struggled with, as when you write dialogue, it's really easy to just go off on some random subject, and as what I usually write, like what I wrote before I started writing the Gardner House scripts, I wrote novels and stories, like long stories, and it was super hard to try to make something short, like even now, I just can't make a story fit into 10 minutes it's so difficult so basically when writing dialogue you try to write out the goal of the scene as in your goal your point to make to the readers then you write the goal goals for each character like in this scene marie is trying to keep sky from getting worried and in the scene sky is trying to figure out what's wrong with marie because she's worried and the goal of the whole scene is to show you that the tension is mounting, something is going to happen, and it's going to be big. So basically, write that out before you start writing the scene, because then you've got everything laid out, and you really can get straight to the point. That way your readers, not your readers, your viewers, don't get bored. 
yeah so that's how i started working on dialogue in these last few gardner house episodes the first episode was kind of all over the place but at the same time it didn't have a unified theme though now i'm more focused on keeping it together in a shorter amount of time yeah so that's basically some tips on how to write dialogue You guys, we forgot to change your calendar to December. <laughs> okay. Take two. Um, today is the 15th. Yes, it is Wednesday. And guess when Christmas is? It's the 25th. Which means we only have a few days left. Yeah. Like a week and a couple days. And uh, then that's it. I have to post a video. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get right back to filming. Yeah. Okay, I'm stalling. So yesterday, wait, no, yesterday was Saturday. Uh, the day before yesterday think yeah no the day before that it was a thursday i posted the trailer for um for a gardener house christmas yeah the movie this week because christmas is this saturday but i have to post it on christmas eve so it's this friday that i need to be done and guess what day it is it is sunday so we have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to film and get ready and have to be ready for it Friday morning. So basically, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the last few scenes I have to do. Yep, those are the most of the scenes are left are in the kitchen living room area. Yeah. So I get to go do that. <laughs> I don't sound that excited, but it has been a tough week trying to get everything out and I have to get the trailer ready right away. So I gotta get to it and uh, I hope I'll get it in time. Mm hmm. Alright. So I'll talk later. Or see you later. <laughs> Right now, why do I always start my BTS videos like that? So right now, but right now I have all of my dolls out and they're all dressed in their costumes for the last scene of the Gardner House, scene 18, titled Merry Little Christmas. So yeah, basically I'm getting ready to film this scene. I have two scenes left to do today. I have to edit them and I also have to do the audio and then I have to edit the whole thing the whole episode, and I have, uh, like, four other scenes to edit, <laughs> and guess what day it is, you guys? It is December 23rd! Yes, tomorrow is the big day, and it is, um, it is 1.55, and I have a lot to do, because it is almost 2 o'clock, so... Basically, what I need to get started on is filming this scene. I've already got the Christmas presents all wrapped and ready, and I need to get it done. So basically, I'm just showing what I've been doing. Uh, this week has been a blur. I've been spending all of my free time on this movie, and I don't regret a minute of it because I know that it'll, it'll be good. <laughs> I worked so hard on the script, and I think I, I've never worked on a script in harder than this, and I'm really excited about posting this and hopefully I'll be able to put the video up tonight. I'm hoping, but it might it might not be possible, but hopefully it will be possible and I will put it up tonight and it will be ready for a premiere 
sometime tomorrow morning on Christmas Eve. So, yes, that's what I get to do today. I made even a specific list of what I really need. I don't have many of these things done. I have the wrapping paper, which I actually decided to go against with it on the floor. I just decided they haven't opened the presents yet. And I got Logan's gift ready, um, the cat playing in the mess. I do not have ready because there's no mess, and I have to figure out what the cat's actually going to be doing. Marie's laptop, I have to grab had to search for the costumes for most of my dolls because as you know I don't have many Christmassy outfits. I mean this is Luciana's outfit and it is not Christmassy. Look at Skye's. She looks like she's just an average teenager and Logan looks pretty cute I think because he never wears very formal stuff. Ben, he's wearing a collared shirt which is so rare for him and it's black so it kind of makes him still look like his character and then Roderick is wearing this really cute, um, shirt. And then Marie's shirt, I haven't even put on her yet. It's gonna have this cloth, though. And then Mary Ellen is wearing a mess of clothes. Like, this is a red dress that I've used in so many photos. This is a tie that actually belongs to the dress that, uh, Luciana is wearing. This tie actually belongs to Marie's, um, one of her outfits. And then this shirt is actually a t-shirt that was never actually sewn completely. Like, it looks pretty, like, wonky. And then this is Molly's collar that I borrowed. And she's also wearing pink shoes because I don't have any red shoes. Yeah, this is, like, the only red outfit I've owned. And I put her hair up in this, like, bun thing that I used to do all the time when I was younger to give her a, uh, whatchamacallit? What do you call that? A bubble cut. Basically, a bubble cut. And I just think it looks so cute on her. And it just goes with this really weird looking outfit. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get to that. I've been talking for about five minutes. So, yeah. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna probably end up deleting most of this video. <laughs> I'll bet you anything. Well, I just finished filming scene 10. Um... Unknown. Yeah, that's what the, what it's called. Unknown. And I am finished filming. So, that's a wrap. up finishing the editing of all of the scenes by 12 a.m. on Christmas Eve. It took way longer than I expected to put the music with it all, not to mention that I had to add sound effects or watch it a few times and I also had to export it into a video. Then I'd have to upload it to YouTube. I didn't record any footage at the time because I was so focused on trying to get it up and scheduled by the morning. Exporting it finally sometime around 3 I watched it over a few times and woke up my mom to see if she could find any issues with it. It always helps to have a fresh point of view on something, especially since I've been working on it for so long. I uploaded it to YouTube, which took almost two hours to complete. I was setting up the iCards when I noticed a blank spot in the YouTube editor. I'd completely forgotten to add some piano music to one of the ending scenes and somehow I totally missed it in editing. So I went back to my editor after deleting the draft of the video. Then I put the music where it needed to be, fixed the volume and all that, and finally began exporting it into a video, once again. It took a while longer to export than it had before, but I'm not exactly sure how long because at that point it was around 4am and my brain was in a fog. So probably around 2 hours later, I uploaded the video to YouTube which took around the same amount of time as it had to export. So, two more hours on top of that. I typed in the title and description, added a thumbnail, which I had also spent some time on, and eventually I scheduled the video for a premiere at 11.30 a.m. I finally looked at the clock and wrote down the time in order to remember it for the sake of this behind the scenes video. It was 6.58 a.m. And I'd officially had my first all-nighter spent completely on AGTube. tube. 
Of course, I did get a couple of hours of sleep in, but I was jittery and wide awake by the time of the premiere. Afterwards, I began searching for other Christmas specials on YouTube to watch. Finding a ton, I decided to try to go to all of them. So today is December 24th, and um, I just got back from like a, like a bunch of premieres. I can't even remember the names of the premieres I watched, but I watched so many good Christmas specials today, and I also posted my own at 11.30 this morning, and so basically it was kind of rough. Yeah, can I, can I say kind of? Because I barely got any sleep, but I was honestly wide awake. <laughs> So yeah, that's what happened with um, Gardner House Christmas, my uh, Christmas special for 2021. That's just some backstory because the day before, or the morning of whatever, it was kind of a wreck. And, uh, I mean, I had this stuff all planned out. It wasn't last minute, but things just didn't work out that well. Yeah. Garner House Christmas was the fifth episode of The Garner House, my first Christmas movie and my biggest project yet. Not only all that, but it is the season finale of The Garner House. I have so many plans for this year and on. I'm already working on season two of The Garner House, and I've already created a new theme song. Make sure you subscribe for more, leave a comment below, and hit those like and notification buttons. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye!